The hardy potatoes that grow in the Peruvian Andes are a staple. People who live here in Cusco's Corca district have relied on them for generations. But things are changing. Maria Holgado Rojas is an ethnomycologist from a local university. Quietly, her work is improving food security by adding a new ingredient, mushrooms. Their story begins in the lab. I met Professor Rojas and her students at their lab in the National University of St. Anthony the Abbot in Cusco. She tells me that mushrooms grow everywhere in the area. People still collect and sell them in markets, but they can do much more with them. Rojas saw a gap in traditional knowledge and knew that science could fill it. She knew what mushrooms can mean to people here for food and for income. So Rojas talked to local people at festivals to discover which mushrooms they know and eat. And then she started to cultivate them in the lab. With students Frank Aguilar Mainicta and Jacqueline Meza Calvo, she takes me through the process. First, they put a piece of mushroom in a petri dish to make a culture and isolate the spores, which are like the seeds of a plant. As these spores germinate, they produce mycelium, a white thread-like substance. This is the essence of a mushroom. In the field, it's buried underground. Next, they mix the mycelium with wheat sterilized in an autoclave with pressurized steam. The wheat acts as a substrate and food source. It helps the mycelium expand. This mixture of grain and mycelium is stored for 15 days in an incubator, which maintains an ideal temperature for mushrooms to grow. Primero nosotros vamos a escoger, ¿no? que sea un trigo de buena calidad. Luego lo vamos a autoclavar. Y... Este es nuestro autoclave que cuando vienen los investigadores a visitarnos un poco que se van sintiendo porque es una broma para ellos. The lab started from zero, with homemade or salvaged equipment. The first incubator was a cardboard box heated by light bulbs. Then the students found discarded, broken down incubators and fixed them. It's time to look at some mushrooms. We're in the greenhouse and it's teeming with young fungi breaking out of plastic bags. The seeding mixture we saw being prepared is brought here and left for 10 days to grow a crop. Each bag equals four harvests. Among their nutritional properties, protein is the selling point. Mushrooms fall somewhere between vegetables and meat in protein content, and those grown in the lab are even more protein-rich than those growing in fields. The students got creative in the greenhouse too. The makeshift ventilation we see in one corner was extracted from discarded computers. After a 40 kilometer drive through mountain roads, we reached the community of Quishuar Cancha and one of the professor's former students, Adriana Simoni Acurio. Acurio now works for government project Sierra Sur, which has financed the transfer of this technology after a proposal from the local mayor. Mushroom gathering has not been a tradition here. Now the greenhouse is dense with bags of seeding mix. Production is in full swing and people are already selling oyster and shiitake mushrooms at food festivals. 
Cecilio, who lives here, says growing mushrooms is fast work and can be done year round. La papa es muy trabajoso. Muy trabajoso porque lleva mucho tiempo. Pero los hongos son todavía casi limpio o limpio, pero la papa hay que trabajar en tierra todo sucio, pero en los hongos es limpio. Crucially, mushrooms bring in 20 times as much income as potatoes. The extra money goes into production buying the seeding mixture and building an irrigation system. It all begins with the spores, isolated in the lab. Professor Rojas says Cusco has what it takes to scale up production, and she shares her vision. En un centro regional que proporcione la semilla del hongo para que todos los comuneros en cualquier parte de la región o del Perú tengan acceso a la semilla, se les da la capacitación y puedan cultivar en casa, en sus comunidades.